this is a really hard problem, right? This one's really tough. So I figured we should start with something that's extremely difficult. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so it's separable because we're in the section on separable DEs. So we should try to separate it. So I guess we have to take this and put it over here. So we'll divide by this and multiply by DX and divide by this. So it's like three things at once. So watch. So we have DY here. So we're just going to divide by this. So we'll have DY over the square root of Y plus Y, right? So square root of Y plus Y, okay? So that's, this stuff, we're going to get rid of it in a minute. So all we've done so far is divide by this expression here. Now nah, it feels full in here. It's good. It's good. Multiply by dx and then divide by this. So it's like we're flipping it or multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So it'll be dx over square root of x plus x. I don't think I've made any mistakes in this class, right? You all haven't had any extra. Yeah, I'm, I'm messing up bad last, well, I messed up on Monday night in my Monday night class, but. No, I made math mistakes in that class, but not in this class. Oh, in this class I've made other mistakes? Yes. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, fine. <laughs> so, so we're here. So you, so you divide by this and you get here, and then you multiply by the reciprocal and, and you get here. Any questions so far on this one? What do we do now to both sides? What's the thing we do to both sides? No, no. No, what is it? Integrate. Integrate. Yeah, integral. The integral symbol from calculus. This one here, right? Integrate both sides, right? Integrate, yeah, it's, yeah, the integral symbol, so integrate. And this is a pretty tough integral. Um, I think there's a couple ways to do it. I know a really easy way to do it. Um, anyone have any ideas on how to do it? Anyone, any suggestions? You can't do that. Um, you could, yeah, right, that's something that Tony had brought up last time. So now, now I think of you, Tony, every time. Yeah, if it was up here, then you could separate it, but because you have two terms on the bottom, you can't separate it. Good, good, good try. So substitution, so watch. You let u equal the square root of y. Right, let u equal the square root of y. And then when you do this, um, you have to find du, but that's not fun, right, because it's a square root. How do we get rid of a square root? What do we do to both sides? Square it, yeah, absolutely. We square it, so square this all squared here. So we get that. This is just a trick. How do I know how to do this? Because I've done it before, right? That's that's the only reason. Um, that's how a lot of math is, right? You know how to do it because you've done it before. Mm -hmm. So now um, we take the derivative. So we use the chain rule. So it'll be two u du. So two u du. Oh, more people. Hey, Gerardo, you're here. All right, and this is equal to dy dy, so 2u du equals dy. You can sit over there if you want, or it doesn't matter. It's up to you, it's okay, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's easier to see, right? I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're here. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? I think we're good, right? I think we're good now. I think we can make a u sub, we could, we could do it. So dy becomes 2u du, so it becomes 2u du over, right? You just replace the dy with the 2u du. And then on the bottom, the uh, square root of y is just u, right? It's just u, I think. So u. Hey, Giovanni. Plus, plus, and then the y would be uh, u squared. Yeah, u squared. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a really clever integral. Even if you took calc 2 and you got an a, you might look at this and say, I don't know how to do it. That's okay, that's normal. You'll probably have that happen again in the homework. Again, if you get stuck, you can just message me, or um, if you go to the playlist, you'll probably find all of the harder problems worked out. I worked them all out um, at some point, because they're, they're really good problems. Yeah, there's a lot of hard homework. It's good, builds character. Same thing here. Uh, you know what? This is the only time in your life you're taking this class. Let's go through it again. Instead of U, let's use a new letter. How about W? It's like two U's, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right, why isn't it written like that, right? I guess that's omega, but. W. And then same thing, you square both sides. So W squared is equal to X. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Why, why'd you do that? Is this better? Oh, it's good. I like this. Oh, oh this is good. You should leave it like that. Oh, okay, so because I'm, I'm in this class after this. Oh, that's cool. Equals, equals DX. Yeah, it's always fun when people switch it around. One semester there was a, uh, there was a desk work right here. There was a person sitting right there. It was really fun. I'm like, do you understand? And I'm like, they're... <laughs> it, was, it was so much fun. So this is uh, dx is 2w dw. So 2w dw. 
And then same thing, uh, this will be w plus w squared. Any questions so far on this one? Any questions on the, on the steps? Good test question, right? If you can do all the homework, you're ready for the test. Like, um, you, you, you'll, you'll do awesome. The challenge is actually doing it all. Like, it's actually getting through it. it takes a long time. Okay, um, I think we can do something here, right? We can pull out something on the bottom, right? The u, right? And we can also pull out a w here. So let's do it. I'm gonna come up here. So we have integral to u du, show all those steps. This will be u, parentheses, and I guess we're gonna be left with um, one plus, right, so one plus u, right? Do that right, one plus u. Okay, all right, and this is equal to, yeah, I, I didn't know what to say, this is two, 2w, and then this is w, 1 plus w, dw. So these cancel, these cancel. So we end up, we end up here. We just go a little bit faster. So we are here, right? We are here. Nice problem, right? Nice problem. Nice problem. Great question. And again, it's really scary looking, right? I mean, you put this on a Calc 2 test and they've never seen it, like one person might get it right, maybe, yeah, depending on how people are feeling that day. It's, it's just really sneaky. This is a really easy integral, right? Um, we can skip the steps or we can show the work. Maybe I'll show the work. It's a bit silly, but why not? Um, you make another substitution. We've already used U and W. Any uh, suggestions for another letter we can use? K or what, what, someone else said something else. I'm not that I, Q. Q. I'll, I'll just go with, uh, okay. I don't know why I asked because I want to use Z. But okay, <laughs> let's, 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 I really want to use Z. But all right, let's use K. Let's use K. So K, because K is usually for constants. Q is good too, but my Qs look ugly. So I'll just use K. K equals one plus U. <laughs> this feels weird. I've never used K. So then you take the derivative. So here, what, what's the derivative of K? That's just going to be what? DK. Dark Knight. Yeah. DK. And this is DU. So DK equals DU. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, so this one will become uh, 2 DK <laughs> over K. So 2 DK over K. Feels like physics. Uh, this one, I'm just going to leave it because it's going to be the same thing. So you'll see what happens. I don't, I don't feel like doing it twice. Anyone know what this is going to integrate to? This, this, this 1 over k? What does that become? What type of function is that? At natural log. Very good. Yeah, ln. So ln. So dk over k is 1 over k. That becomes ln absolute value of k. So this is 2 ln absolute value of k. But we know what k is. It's 1 plus u. So I'm going to put 1 plus u. Skip a step. So bad. We can add a plus c, but we talked about this last time, right? Instead of adding it to both sides, you can just add it to one side, right? So this is equal to 2 ln, absolute value, 1 plus w. And now I'll go ahead and add the c here. Now, I don't know if the homework problem wants us to solve for anything. Oh, it does. It wants us to solve for y. So I know that our c is going to change because I've done this problem before, and we have lns. So I'm going to call it something else, like C tilde. OK. Just, uh, tilde. Tilde. It's, I think it's spelled like this. Tilde? Yeah, tilde. And it has a tilde in the E, maybe. I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Is that how do you say it? Oh. I just heard it called tilde. 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 It's, like, it's like French or something. I don't know. So, so. So it's going to change. The reason I did that instead of C is because I know we have to solve for Y, because in the homework it looks like this. Fill in the box, right? And there's an LN here, and everything's trapped inside those logs. So it's going to be insane. This is exciting. One more step. This is 2 LN. 1 plus U. What the heck was U? Oh, oh, way over here, right? This. This was our U, right? U is the square root of Y. Like, wow, what a problem. Um, square root of Y is a really fun problem. I'm glad, I'm, glad I'm glad we're doing this one. Where's W? Oh, there it is. Square root of x. That's square root of x. 1 plus square root of x plus C tilde. I don't know if it has a tilde in the E. I'm, that might be wrong. I, I, I don't know. So do we need to keep the absolute value something? No matter what you put in for y or x, it has to be. You can drop them in this case because, yeah, this is always positive, so you can use parentheses. I'm purposely going to leave them and pretend I don't know that. 
Kyle has a good point. He's saying you can drop these absolute value symbols because one plus the square root of y is always positive, so you don't need them there. But if it was something like this, you can't, you can't say, you can't do that, right? You, can, you have to keep them there. But I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them strategically, pretending we didn't know what Kyle said, so, but good. Um, because it doesn't always work, but you could. That's smart, Kyle. I guess we have to solve for y, so I'll start by dividing everything by two, okay? So divide by two, divide by two, divide by two, and I use this board here. So we have ln, absolute value, one plus square root of y equals ln, absolute value, one plus square root of x, which is a little bit taller, plus, plus c tilde over two. I think it might be tilde. It doesn't sound as nice as tilde though, right? So. There's no uh, thing on it. You look it up? Okay, thanks, yeah. I had a teacher once who used it in a math class and I'm like, oh, it's so cool. So ever since then I use it all the time because um, it's interesting. I mean, you could use C1, but that's kind of like, you know. How do we get rid of the LN? What do we do to both sides? What do we put there? Do you all know? An, an E, yeah, it's called exponentiating, by the way. It's a real word, I looked it up. So you exponentiate both sides. So we're gonna put an E here, and we're gonna put an E here. I'm so glad we're doing this problem because this, this happens over and over again. Like this process is something that you will see repeated over and over in the homework. This is a really good problem. So this whole thing here is the exponent. The E and the LN, they do cancel, they're inverse functions. So you can actually do this and it's not wrong. This is the absolute value of one plus the square root of y. Again, you could drop the absolute value based on what Kyle said, but I'll leave it. And then you can rewrite this as E to the LN, absolute value, one plus square root of x, times, right, it's times, e to the c tilde over two, over two, over two. Everyone see why it's times? Everyone see that's the, that's the confusing part, the times for people. So there's a times there. Boom, very good, Tony. Yes, yes, because when you, when you multiply these with the like bases, the multiplication turns into addition. Very good, very good, Tony, right? You just, it's just this times this. What happens is you just get E, I'll do it again, I'm gonna erase this, but I'll write it. Plus, C to the tilde over two, C to the tilde over two, right? It becomes this when you, when you go from here to here, which is going backwards, right? It's like if you had E squared times E cubed, it'd be E to the two plus three, which is five, E to the five. Right? You add the exponents, right? Good. Good. Um, this cancels. I'm gonna leave the absolute value there one more time. I'm dragging it out on purpose. I'm gonna rearrange this. I'm gonna put this in the front. Um, well, I'll leave, I'll leave it. No, I'll put it in the front. Feeling, feeling, feeling good about it. E to the C del day over two times absolute value one plus square root of X. Okay. And again, you could have dropped the absolute value long ago only because this is positive, as Kyle said, but that doesn't always happen. Any questions on any of the steps uh, on this problem? I think we're doing good on time. It's only been like 16 minutes, so yeah, for one problem. You're, you're exponentiating. What do you do again? Uh, what, what do you do here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you put an E here and you put an E here, right? And these will cancel, right? Are you, are you dividing? No. If you have E to the ln x, it's equal to x. It's a formula. Oh, good. Yeah, no, good, good. Good, Chris, Chris. Really? Oh, Chris, good. So yeah, they cancel, so that's the idea. That's the idea. Everyone okay with this part too? Everyone okay with that? Chris, does this part make sense too with the times and, and the plus? Okay, that's a, that's a confusing part. I had a student once long ago, uh, his name was David, and he had a really hard time with that. So mm -hmm. hopefully he doesn't watch this video. So. Uh, all right, he's a good guy, he is, he is. But to drop the absolute value. So I don't know if you know this, um, just in a quick aside, if you have the absolute value of x equal to the absolute value of y. So the absolute value of x is the distance between x and 0. So x and y are two numbers, and their distance from 0 is the same. That means they must be the same number, or they must be opposites. So you drop the absolute value and put a plus or minus. So when you have two absolute values, you can drop it and put a plus or minus. This is not something that's often talked about in like a college algebra class. Usually all the problems have one absolute value. Um, so here you have two absolute values. Sure, you have this here, but it's not gonna make much of a difference. So same thing, you put a plus or minus. So plus or minus, e to the c tilde over two. You're allowed to skip steps. Um, but just 
know that when you skip steps, I look at it a little more closely usually because I'm like, oh, why do you skip steps? And so just make sure it's correct. Yes. Um, before. Mm -hmm. there, why didn't you just cross out e to the ln and then write absolute value one plus square root of x plus c over two? Plus. Yeah. Ah, because you can't. So going from here to here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just let me just show you again. Okay. So this. This might not make sense because I'm going to write down the same thing I had before. So this is one thing. This is an exponent. Okay. So it's times e to the c to the day over 2. Think about going backwards. Here, I'll do it here. I'll write it here. Say we have this. This is what I was talking about, that multiplication. Whenever you multiply these, it turns into addition. It becomes... Do you see it? It's because when you multiply these, you add these. It's like if you had e to the x times e to the y. That would be e to the x plus y. So that's why I couldn't do that. I had to separate them first before I got ready. You see it now? Yeah, see you do? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, good. It's, that's the tricky part. That's really tough for people. And this happens a lot, right, in the homework. Okay. Um, we need to come up with c at some point, right? So just call this c. So 1 plus square root of y is equal to c, parentheses, 1 plus square root of x. You can do that, right? You can just rename stuff. Because you don't know what c tilde is. You don't know what c tilde over 2 is. You don't know what e to the c tilde over 2 is. You put a plus or minus there. It still could be anything, right? So just call it c. I usually wait to the end to call it c. Okay. And again, how do I know to do this? Foresight, right? Like right here, um, when the... When the I knew why was trapped inside the log, so I knew to do that, right? And plus the homework wants us to do this. Like if it said implicit solution on the test, if it says implicit, you just stop here and circle it and you're, you're done, right? But because they want us to solve for y, that's called, uh, do you remember what that's called when you solve for y? Particular. No, no, uh, not implicit. What's the opposite of implicit? Explicit. explicit. So we got an explicit solution, yep. Oh, erasers. All right, so let's finish this. Subtract the 1, square root of y equals c, parentheses, 1 plus square root of x, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. Yeah, this is tough. I signed almost every single available problem, by the way, uh, even, even, if, even if it doesn't look like much, but it's a small book, right? So, um, so it's a lot of homework. If you can actually do that homework, you're really good at this, like really good. What's the last step? What's the square both sides? Yeah, good. Just square both sides. Very good. So we get parentheses c one plus square root of x minus one squared. You could keep going and do some fancy stuff here, but I'll leave it. If you're wondering what I mean by that, you could distribute the c and combine it with the one. C minus one, call that k, right? But it's good enough. Yeah. Uh, 